When you're stuck at home, there are only so many things you can do to entertain yourself. If you're sharing your living space with other people, playing board games is a great way to kill time. But Cards Against Humanity is even better. A party game for horrible people, as it's described on the site, it's definitely not safe for work. It's also a great way to let off some steam and just have a few laughs with your pals. Here's how to play Cards Against Humanity online and what you'll need to do it. First, there's all bad cards. The first thing you'll notice about all bad cards is a great interface that perfectly mimics that cheeky feel that only Cards Against Humanity has. In order to start the game, head to the website and click New Game. The site will then ask you to type in your nickname. You'll get a shareable link to invite other people and you can also add up to 10 AI players. Once everyone's ready, click Start to begin the game. A few more impressive features of the site include the capacity to host a game for up to 50 players, as well as a family-friendly version of Cards Against Humanity. Yes, seriously. Another great site is Pretend Your XYZZY. Pretend Your XYZZY is another Cards Against Humanity clone. The original game comes with numerous expansion packs that add up to hundreds of cards and hilarious combinations. The downside here is that you can't start the game unless you have three or more players to join in. Once you have the right number of people, you can customize your game and add as many cards as you wish. You also create your own rules, as well as who can play and who can simply spectate. To play the game, head over to the website, fill in your nickname and click Set. That will take you to the game customization screen. Choose the number of players and card sets you'd like to use, as well as the game password. Share your game URL and wait for other people to join. Finally, we have Cards Against Humanity Lab. This is the perfect pick for when all your friends are busy but you still just want to have a few laughs. Cards Against Humanity Lab is the official site for Cards Against Humanity online experiences. However, it's not exactly social since you're the only one playing. Here the computer deals you a black card and you have a selection of white cards to choose the funniest answers from. There's also an option to say none of the cards on the screen are funny at all. You can probably guess the purpose of this tool. The Cards Against Humanity AI learns which cards are best or worst in the game. It might not seem fun at first, but you'll find that many cards in the CAH lab are not ones you've played before. That's because the site is used to research future editions of the game. So if you're a true fan, head over to the website and enjoy a few rounds of Cards Against Humanity on your own. Being stuck at home is the best time to change the rules and start making your own games. You can make your own deck of Cards Against Humanity by downloading and printing it from the official website. There's even a special family-friendly version that you can play with your folks. Have fun and see you next time.